What is up, guys? Welcome back to Liftaholics TV. It is no secret that you need discipline in order to make changes to your body and realistically to make changes in any part of your life. Today, I'm going to go through three different ways to help you stay more disciplined when you're trying to make changes to your body. Stay tuned. In order to develop a sense of discipline, you have to have an attainable goal for yourself. So discipline is something that, you know, you can't go out and can't buy it on Walmart on sale. It's something that comes from deep within you. So if you don't have a goal, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a reason for doing the things that you're doing, you know, whether that's in the gym, losing weight, gaining muscle, whether that's, you know, in your business, you want to gain more clients or in school, you want to get that degree. If you don't have a goal or a reason for why you're doing something, you're not going to have discipline. Those things go hand in hand. Without an end goal, you're just mindlessly doing task after task without trying to measure yourself or measure where you're at in the process. You don't know how far away or how close or even if you've hit your goal because you haven't set one. So me just going to the gym like, hey, you know, uh, I want to lose some weight or, you know, I want to gain some weight or I want to be healthier. You know, that's not really an end goal. You need to be a little bit more specific, but also realistic at the same time. You know, like, hey, man, I want to lose I want to lose 10 pounds. Uh, or I want to gain 10 pounds of muscle. And I'm willing to accept however long that process is going to take. If I see this goal as like a 30 day challenge or a 40 day challenge, then A, I might not attain it. And then I'm going to be disappointed afterwards and discouraged from going back to the gym. Um, or, uh, you know, I'm going to obtain it and I'm going to reach it in an unhealthy way that I can't sustain that type of lifestyle throughout the rest of my life. So you have to be comfortable with picking a goal and saying, hey, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to reach this goal as long as it is realistic. So, you know, gaining 10 pounds of muscle or losing 10 pounds of fat or, you know, even losing 20 pounds, all those things are realistic. As long as you're stepping back, taking a look at yourself and saying, look, this might not happen in two or three months. This might take another year. This might take another two years, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to reach that goal. I'm willing to make my meals, my gym time, my sleep, a top priority to me. That's how you're gonna develop a sense of discipline. And especially once you start seeing those changes in the gym, you're really gonna be even more disciplined because you're like, yo, I know I can do this now. You have to determine a goal that you're setting for yourself in order to be disciplined. Those two go hand in hand. Without an end goal, you can't have discipline. Second thing that's gonna give you a sense of discipline, help you develop that sense of discipline, is being prepared mentally. So. Before you go into your journey, into your fitness journey, you have to understand that it's going to be a challenge. It's gonna be something different. Almost like, you know, if you were starting a new job or, you know, the first day of school when you start, you know, high school, or the first day of school when you start college, you know you're going into something that's a little bit different. It might be a little scary, it might be a little nervous, you might be even excited, but you know that things are gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to. That's the same way you need to approach your fitness journey. It's that, you know, you might not know everything in the beginning, but as you go through the process, you learn your body. You learn what your body needs to see changes. You learn what foods uh, work for your body to help you in a positive way and what foods hurt you in a negative way. It's just like in sports, you know, that mindset that you have before a game. You have to be ready to overcome adversity. You know, there's going to be challenges. Uh, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be an uphill battle in order to win the game. It's kind of the same thing like with your fitness journey. You know, you're gonna face different things that might be challenging to you. And it might not necessarily be in a gym. It might be stuff like, you know, just getting to the gym or staying on schedule with the gym. But that's where, you know, developing that sense of discipline comes in that because, you know, instead of going out the night before, you know, you need to be in the gym, you might decide not to go out that night because you know you have to be in the gym and that's the only thing that's gonna help you see changes. That's the only thing that's gonna help you reach your goal. So it comes down to starting to make different life decisions as well. Once you develop that mindset, like I'm gonna do this no matter what, and I'm not gonna let anything stop. Your mindset is gonna be everything, whether that's, you know, making changes in the gym, making changes in other areas of your life. If you approach things with a positive manner and a positive mindset, you're always gonna come out on top. Even if you make a mistake, even if you learn a lesson, you know, I can't tell you how many, diff how many different mistakes I've made along my fitness journey along the way. And all of them have just helped me understand my body more, helped me understand, you know, different exercises in the gym, what helps my body see changes and what doesn't. So you'll also develop those same things as you continue 
to progress on your fitness journey as well but without the right mindset you'll only see these things in a negative manner you know not gaining any weight or losing any weight in a month instead of you know looking back and reflecting like oh was I on my meals strong uh, was I drinking enough water did I get enough sleep how effective were my workouts you'll just be upset but if you look at it from a positive perspective like you know I'm gonna learn why I didn't see the changes that I wanted to see these past 30 days then you'll always always come out on top third thing that's going to help your mindset when you're trying to develop that sense of discipline is realizing that there are no shortcuts out there there's no quick fixes there's no way to change your lifestyle with the snap of a finger so if i'm looking to lose weight and i don't want to go to the gym and i start like let's say one of these juicing diets or whatever those diets are and you know i'm losing weight by just eating you know drinking juice that's fine and that might work for you initially you might lose a lot of weight you might lose more weight than someone who decided to go to the gym and actually eat real food real whole foods get three meals in a day you know drink their protein shakes you might see changes faster than that but what you have to realize is when you're doing that diet that's not sustainable for the rest of your life like you just plan on drinking juice for the rest of your life or do you plan on going back to eating real food because once you go back to eating real food you're going to gain all of that stuff back because you never developed a sense of a good diet what good food is you never developed uh the discipline or the knowledge or uh earning you know shedding that weight off because you didn't go to the gym you didn't get on a regiment a workout schedule uh, a routine or anything like that shortcuts because you didn't have to make sure that you got proper sleep to get to the gym in the morning or you know make sure you pack your gym clothes and uh, run to the gym when you get off of work or out of class or whatever you've just done things taking the shortcut way the easy way and it's not sustainable for the rest of your life but that person who's been eating their meals the person who's been going to the gym the person who's been drinking their shakes um, they're the people who are gonna reap the long-term benefits of the process if they stay with it because they've changed their entire lifestyle to just this is just the way I live now like you know it, using myself as an example you know just trying to gain weight and muscle over time you know like I don't really eat fast food you know I don't really eat pizza I don't really go out drinking at, at, on the weekends and stuff and that's just because I've adjusted my lifestyle to try to make changes or sustain the changes that I have made into the gym and I know if I fall into those things which I have before then I'm no longer going to have the changes that I made to my body so taking shortcuts trying to cheat the process have long-term effects you know whether you're looking five ten years down the line or you know maybe you're even looking six months or a year down the line doing things the correct way just getting the right amount of calories you know i'm talking to all you know all my people who are trying to build muscle now you know eating the right amount of calories getting the right amount of protein and learning what works best for your body push pull legs separating a body part um, a day uh, you know a combination of bodybuilding workouts and strength workouts whatever it is but learning your body and learning how to do things the correct way and not taking shortcuts is 100% gonna help you develop that sense of discipline because like I said with the other two points once you've gotten to that point where you've seen changes and you know you can do this which all of you watching this video can make changes to your body today if you start you know you can see changes six months down the line um, you're gonna get excited you're gonna get motivated and with that you're just going to want to see more changes and you're just going to accelerate the process even more so you're like okay i know that works i know this doesn't work i know i can't do this so that's going to set me back so developing that sense of discipline is going to start with knowing that you can't take shortcuts knowing that it's going to take you know some time to see your goal just coming to terms with the simple fact that you're not going to take shortcuts and you're going to commit to the process and you're going to appreciate it even more because you know it's all your hard work your blood sweat and tears that you poured into it and like i said that's not just with the gym that could be with anything that could be in school that could be in business that could be at your job once you do things without cheating the process you know you've earned it you can accept it for yourself and you won't ever want to hop off the wagon because you never want to go back to your old self. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more like it, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. Also, don't get out of here without hitting that subscribe and notification button so you can be up to date on any more videos I post in the future. See you next time.